everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 229. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Verona. Hi, Verona. Welcome to the couch. Thanks. It's very comfortable. Is it? It is. It's nice It'll be very warm in a minute. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Make you nice and sleepy while you're on Toy Break. Um. <laughs> all right. So for those of you who may not know, Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, events, how-tos, interviews, uh, anything we can bring you in said wonderful world of toys like Verona over here, we will do that. We will bring it to you. Uh, let's start off, as we always do, by thanking our site sponsors, like Paysaver, Grumpy Bert, Happy Panda Toys, Black Sheep Button Company, Button Lab, Art Attack Toys, Dragatomy, Tenacious Toys, Fuzzy Balls Apparel, <laughs> Superpower Collectibles, ESC Toy, ESC Toy, More Art Than Toy, DKE Toys, <laughs> Mr. Toast, and 3D Retro. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Go to our site, check them out, help them, support them. They support us, that thing, back and forth. Do we have anything going on? Contest we have a, a Dude Box contest right now. Ooh, dude Box contest! Uh, this is brought to you by Dude Box. You can win a Mo Money Bunny um, <laughs> by Mark Melling, maybe? Uh, head to the contest section on toybreak.com and tell us why you want the dude box. It's easy. It's open to everybody. You don't have to draw anything. You don't have to do anything. Just post. You have to pronounce Mark Melling. Melling. Gemelling. Gemelling. Maybe the M is silent. Gelling. Maybe the L Gelling? is silent. Gelling? Oh. I wonder, is the M or the G silent? Or is it a typo? No, that, that's the how Typo? It is. We're reading this off the top of our heads. Gelling. <laughs> Gelling. Melling. Melling. Gemelling. Mark. Yeah, we'll just call him Mark. Mark, Mark G. Mark a dude box. Hey, Mark, Mark call G. us at 818 I Good and let us know how to say your name because we don't know. When should people submit their dude box wanting by? August something. Fifth. There you go. <laughs> Fifth? Fifth? No, September. not August. September 5th. Whew. <laughs> what time is it? Are we done with Comic Con? What happens? <laughs> oh, God, Comic Con. I know. Are right? you over Comic Con? Yes, because I'm not sick anymore. Finally. And we finally finished the Comic-Con wrap-up. Yes. We were sitting on the couch for three weeks. Yeah. Filming that. We didn't leave. Straight. It's just straight. No, it's just like a live stream. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that was that was insane. Yeah. We yeah. brought way too much stuff home, as always. But, you know. Yeah. That's what Comic-Con's about. Yeah. I still have two bags of stuff that we showed and I never even opened it. <laughs> what? Over there. He's hiding things. It's not Zelda hidden. posters. Just, there's nowhere for it to go. Like there's yeah. no room left to put there's it up. There's really not. I don't know what you're talking about. Go. The studio is so expansive. That's true. There's always room. Once somewhere. we get the new wing built, I'll put it up there. <laughs> the parlor. The parlor. <laughs> <laughs> the sitting room. <laughs> All right. So instead of our usual news, we have one very big piece of interesting news, which is you. It's me. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if you don't know. Uh, yeah. So you're here representing a site that you're deeply connected with. Yes. <laughs> we talked about it at length prior to this, so we're all on the up and up. Uh, it's called Shelf Life, and uh, Shelf Life is a place for collectors to go and catalog their collections so they can go through the site, find stuff they have, and click have, 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 have. And then also, you can sort of make a wish list by clicking want, 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 want. And every time nice. you click have, we collect from you some information, like where you got it, how much it costs, so we can figure out sort of like roughly the average price should be. So if you want one, you know if you're overpaying or that's if you're brilliant. getting a really great deal. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, it also kind of shows you how many are out in the wild. Yeah. Like what kind of what's going on there and what it should be worth. Exactly. When you're gonna sell it, and, if you wanted to sell it. And the way we catalog stuff um, is sort of like. It's sort of Wikipedia style. We try to get as much information as possible. So specifications as far as manufacturing, who produced it, where it's distributed, if there were variants like on guns or like <laughs> heads or whatever, we try to list all those parts. Mm -hmm. So if you go to a product on the site and then you click the parts and pieces, you'll see every single piece that should be in that package and then what the variants could be depending on like different options, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we have this like amazing team of people who do that for us. <laughs> Uh, and they're called curators, and they're like super hardcore fans, and they know everything about everything about like whatever it is they collect, and they just like have all of it, and they put in all the info, and take the photos, and it gets on the site, and it's pretty cool. That's so awesome. as we're talking about this, uh, the website is shelflifex.com. X. We're trying to sort it out. So keep make sure That's like you're from the street. In case you want to go as we're talking about it and take a look at the site, it's shelflifex.com. Yes. 
Um, Please do. So now this is more, there are a few of these kind of sites who do like designer vinyl. There's like Tramped and a couple things like that. Rotocasted. Rotocasted. This is more than just designer vinyl though, right? This is all oh, sorts yeah. of toys. and. Yeah. So the majority of the stuff we have right now is, is in the toy realm, like action figures mm-hmm. and like 12 inch stuff. We have Barbie catalogs. I think we have some My Little Pony stuff up or it's going to go up soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we're also, <laughs> we're expanding. So we're going to do like comic books And hopefully in the future, like, if we can get big enough, we'll do, like, designer fashion stuff and, like, watches or coins. Like, what you know, we'll get as big as we can get. But right now, really, the collector people that are super hardcore, like, into it, obviously, internet people are going to be more into, like, (laughs) the toys and the superheroes and the action figures. But, uh, yeah, we kind of cross borders that way, which is It will eventually be everything designer and collectible. Yeah, totally. Not just toys. Not just toys. Definitely not just toys. And not even just designer. I mean, you have mass market. Yeah, yeah. We have, like, huge Hasbro catalogs and the Transformers people were some of the people that we originally were beta testing with when we first launched the site. Mm -hmm. So our Transformer catalogs are very extensive. And our CEO, (laughs) James, is, like, a hardcore Transformer dude. So when he came up with this idea, he was like, we're going to start with Transformers. That's what we're doing. (laughs) And so that's, that's what we did, which is really cool. Yeah, you got to start somewhere, right? Right, exactly. And he knew a lot of people who were into that. Um, I'm, like, on the Star Wars Tokidoki side. And then... Uh, I like that those are together. The, well... The Star Wars Tokidoki <laughs> side. <laughs> Look, I like Star Wars, but I also like Tokidoki because they're cute. Did you go nuts for the keychains? Mm. The Toma keychains? All of those adorable? All the things. And, like, they so, so happy monsters as well. <laughs> <laughs> and like gloomy bears, like there's I, too much cute stuff out now. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, and then and then our other uh, partner uh, is a guy named Nick, and he's really into Magic the Gathering. Magic's nice. awesome. So we're gonna do like a Magic card section and stuff as well. So wow. that's awesome. Yeah, so it's really really cool. And we just launched a marketplace recently, so now you can actually sell stuff that you like have four versions of because you bought the one for the package and then the one to take out of the package and then two extras just in case and now you're like I don't need two extras or you accidentally got nine mermen because you thought your Maddie collector order didn't go through and you ended up with nine right so I mean I don't know anyone that happened to (laughs) so uh, so yeah our marketplace is live and obviously please sell stuff on it because the more people there are the better it is um, and there's some really great deals and like we're actually listing some of our personal collections uh-huh. and exclusives on there to try to like sprinkle it through and make it a little bit crazier, which means I need to part with things that I like. Oh, but, but then you get makes, money to buy Tokidoki stuff. Exactly. Right. But then like <laughs> buy, right, wall space uh, yes. and shelf space for more stuff, which is shelf life cool. space. Yeah. Shelf life space. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, questions. I don't know. Well, what it sounds like, so this sounds like a very viable, uh, option for people who don't necessarily like eBay or, mm. you know, that kind of thing. Um, do you exclusive? Do you know if you use, exclusively use PayPal to check out? Currently, we do. Okay. We have been talking with a lot of different payment processors because we know people don't necessarily like PayPal mm-hmm. and they're, like, can be sketchy at times <coughs> because they are the biggest, you know, they were sort of the option that we really could implement quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we are talking with other people and trying to find other ways to work around it. So people so have, have more options. So they have more options later. I'm a fan um, of PayPal myself. I'm just, I know a lot of people yeah. don't necessarily like it. So I was thinking, man, this is a great place to go to sell your things yeah. or buy things that's not eBay, that's not, yeah. you know, doesn't have all those restrictions and things that exist and those yeah, absolutely. Uh, stigmas. We're, we're trying to definitely sort of get away from, like you said, the stigmas that are associated with with eBay, especially just because there's so, you know, that market on eBay and all the toys and stuff on eBay. It's so saturated. It's like a weird, saturated, like, angry place. <laughs> it is an angry place. <laughs> it is. It's like a weird, I don't know why. It's like a, it's like the same people, but you take them off eBay and they're like really normal. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. So we're, yeah, we're, we're hoping to have more options for checkout mm-hmm. later. And we are eventually going to start selling our own exclusive stuff, like OMFG. Oh, MFG. I heard Whatever of is that? <laughs> <laughs> like maybe later this year we'll have an exclusive, which would be pretty rad. Uh, and we're gonna sell that, and hopefully we'll have more options than PayPal. But I honestly have no idea. I don't. I don't think PayPal is a bad thing. You know, what a lot of people don't know is that even if you don't have a PayPal account, you can still check out with your credit card, just like a normal. Yeah, any other site. So yeah, and I think we get that question a lot. Yeah, for like your you know regular person, if you're just looking for a gift or for something that's hard to find, Mm -hmm. that's like a totally a great option. Totally. Yeah. So does it? Are you guys building a whole like feedback system the way eBay does with? 
the users and stuff? Is that? Yes. Okay. We are. We just launched the marketplace and, um, as part of that, that we've started implementing is right now we have like question and answer. So if you have more questions about the listing, uh, we just implemented that so you can actually give questions to people and, and okay. get replies and then, you know, post them automatically if you're the seller. Mm -hmm. So you don't get that same question a million times because you neglected to mention it or whatever. <laughs> it's important. Um, and the next part of that system is definitely like a feedback. We do have comments and stuff enabled on products. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to really open the discussion amongst the community and people yeah. who like stuff, even just about the product. And the way our um, curation works is if you find, you know, if you're a huge fan of something, but you're not the curator on like Iron Man, whatever toys, and you see a problem and you know it's totally wrong, you can flag it and you can send in a note and say, this is wrong and this is why. Perfect. Okay. And our curator gets a notice in their sort of like special dashboard. So they can go and fix stuff and they can open the discussion with you and say like, where did you find that out? So we, we do want people to talk to each other. We don't want it to be... It's not a closed system. It's no, it's not. A, all yeah, the users. absolutely. And, you know, Wikipedia... Esque, except that it'll be like less like a bot fighting your edits back and forth and more like one person's just in charge and then you can talk to them and figure it out right that's awesome yeah. so when you when you're like if you have your collection at like if i go and i say i have 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 and then i want to sell <laughs> one of the things does it use the picture that's from that site or do i have to put like oh, the picture of my thing in there you have to actually upload photos of your actual product to sell something to sell something okay good good um yeah because we don't you know if he uses like the perfect in the package photo, well that's why i was wondering like is it going to be yeah. okay so it's kind of a bit of a hassle like if you if you just want to sell something and you're not building your collection on the site you have to go through the site you find the product that you want you click that you basically have it or click sell yours mm -hmm. and it will add it to your collection temporarily right. and then you have to add all that stuff like you know what okay. what's in the package what conditions it, what condition it's in uh whether it's loose or um like sealed packaging or mm -hmm. whatever okay. and then add photos but i mean you have to do that with anywhere that you're going right. to sell online but this gives you a great base to start with Absolutely. here's what it should have how does yours compare right so when you open that sell window uh it shows you everything that could be in the package and you mm -hmm. click what's in it that's awesome. Oh, good. So if you okay. click that it's sealed, it will automatically select everything. Oh, that's great. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> but if you're like, it's loose, that's time then you have to choose, like you have, and you can go, say you're selling something and you have like a weird transformer and for some reason you have two of the same gun and you just want to sell them both together with that figure, mm -hmm. you can say, I have two of the gun. Oh, done. So when someone gets to the sale, they can see it's like a weird version and the person's just like, I somehow ended up with two guns for this. Enjoy. So, have an extra gun. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty rad. And then you don't, but you don't have to use the site to sell or anything. You can just have a collection yeah. thing. You don't have to it. sell anything at all. You can just like build your collection by just going through and saying, I have this, I have this, I want this, I want this. But one of the features that we're going to be releasing soon, uh, which is pretty cool, is that say you say you want this and you're willing to pay like 10 bucks for it or whatever. And then someone else goes on the site and they're like, I have this they'll automatically get like a noticing like just so you know somebody wants this and they'll be willing to pay 10 bucks for it and it will like automatically awesome. match users oh, so cool. you can go it's like a dating site for your toys right so you can be like <laughs> actually i do want to sell this or like oh so that's the going rate mm -hmm. you can just get an idea right. and, and like, like oh, i don't want to sell it for ten dollars right exactly and then you you sort of have a, like a mental picture of like maybe what your collection's worth if that's important to you or how much you've been spending. That actually <laughs> sounds great <laughs> for insurance purposes because a right. lot of people have trouble um, getting their uh, collections appraised. Because this how could do you be know? an amazing site. Right. You know, once the collection builds, and then you could be like, "Look, my collection's worth you know one point five million dollars." Absolutely. I don't know what you're collecting that's worth that. <laughs> Crack it. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know it's all these little features that we're building that together when they're all rolled out and you know there's only really there's three main people on the team and then we have two other guys who work for us who are like helping one developer and then like our community manager so we're a pretty small team working on like a ton of stuff but all these little pieces as they get rolled out together like build onto the usability so Very hope, powerful yeah site. we're hoping that um that it is really powerful for everybody and to find it really useful and no matter whether you're like a super power user and you own a comic book store and you literally want to list everything that you have in the store on the site for sale or you're just like i just want to show people that i have like a lot of guys <laughs> then, my, might, my mighty max collection whatever then you can you can do it and you know and we're open to sort of you don't have to be a hardcore person and you don't have to apply to be a curator you can so, just be like i have six things and i think they're cool and now i want to look at pictures and that's fine <laughs>
That's totally okay. Yeah. And who doesn't like looking at pictures of your toys? Everybody. Exactly. It's better than looking at pictures of your kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. No, he's not. I'm not. <laughs> I carry pictures of my toys in my wallet. Again, I'm kidding. <laughs> a little bit. Um, so you were mentioning curators. Yes. And so you have this amazing group of curators. Would you like to tell people maybe who might be interested or know a lot about a certain subject how to do that sure. or become involved with that? Okay, so if you want to be a curator, uh, anybody can be a curator, honestly. Even me? And even you. <laughs> well. In fact, you would be a great curator. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, why did I say anything? All right, so <laughs> curators, uh, anybody can be a curator. And um, you just really have to have a passion for some kind of collectible. If you go to the site and you see there's already a catalog that exists, you can't be the curator for that catalog because right. somebody has claimed it already. But if it's not there or if it's one of the like coming soon, it may still be open. Uh, so just send us an email at everyone at shelflifex.com uh, and let us know like what you're into, what you know a lot about. You know, if you have all the stuff already and you can take your own photos, that's awesome because right. it'll make it really easy for you. You don't have to track anything down. But if you don't, I mean, you're welcome to search the internet for photos of everything. Uh, and we'll have a quick conversation with you and find out, you know, the the kind of information that you need to collect for that catalog and, and that product line. And then um, you get like a special part of your account now where you can start adding all the data and add all the products and upload the photos. And it's pretty rad. And there are perks to being a curator. Um, we have this secret thing we've been doing for a while. We've kind of talked about it a little bit in like our email newsletters. But it's not uh, accessible by by any of the collectors on the site yet, mm -hmm. really. Which is, we track all of your activity on the site. <laughs> the more They're you kind of like, not necessarily like everything you do, but kind of how much time you spend and like where you, what's popular, obviously, because it helps us. And also, the more you kind of click around, you get points. And the more points you get, we're gonna have like contests and exclusive stuff that that's kind of like more entries into the contests. The more points. points you have, I love, I love points. points, right? Points. <laughs> so uh, curators have their own contests that only curators get to be in. Fancy. And they get bonus points, bonus collector points for their collector score because they're like awesome and we love them, <laughs> honestly. Uh, and they get their special curator kind of section. And you get bragging rights to be like, I'm the guy who knows everything about everything. <laughs> You need to make like little pins or like a patch or something. Maybe we'll have can. curator con. You never know. Done. <laughs> right? <laughs> but you, you're you like, I'm the guy. I, I know all the stuff. I two things I'm the person for. So I need to know if they have curators yet. I what need to check the mega menu. I, I, don't, I don't know. No. Um, I, I'll work on it. There's one, there's one more thing. Oh, there's one more thing. So uh, as a curator, if there is a sale in your catalog, you get a percentage of the transaction. Oh. You can use it in the site to buy more stuff. That's awesome. But right now, actually, if you signed up before, I think it was July 30th, there's no transaction fees till the end of the year. So anybody who signed up, like, basically around Comic-Con or before, mm -hmm. uh, if you do any sales, we don't, there's no transaction fees at all. I mean, PayPal maybe has their whatever. Their whatever, yeah. Uh, but, like, we're not involved. So if you signed up early, awesome. good for you. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, curators get a cut because they put in hard work. Right. You know, we couldn't do it without them. Uh, we really do need them. There's That's just great. way too much stuff. We each have catalogs that we work on on our own, so oh, obviously we're, part imagine. we're participating. Um, but you can't be in charge of every catalog right. and make the site. Right, like, I, I can barely do my catalog. You know, it's like in this infancy. Uh, uh, and so I'm doing Tokidoki um, purses first. Nice. Uh, and then I'll do vinyls probably after. So you can't have Tokidoki because it's mine. Uh, <laughs> all the Tokidoki. All the Tokidoki belongs to, belongs to me. Uh, so those are that's the stuff that I'm focusing on right now. And so I found this collectible, I should have brought it with me because it's so weird, at Comic-Con called Mondo Chi. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little chihuahua. <laughs> it's like just white. It's not like painted or anything. And I guess they're going to release them in different solid colors or whatever. But they mm. had versions they had custom. Like they had little faces and like a pirate costume and stuff. And I have four chihuahuas. And so oh. I'm <laughs> insane. And I love tiny <laughs> dogs. So I was like, what is this chihuahua toy? And so I bought two of them. They're exactly the same. They're but like just white, two. but I needed two. Right. I might give. I might sell one. Uh, on so shopping. I'll probably do the Mondo G catalog, which currently will consist of one toy. One toy. <laughs> and but if but actually, red, uh, that will lead you to red, the black, rest of green. his toys because that is by that's uh, Claiborne Moore uh, is the guy who's doing that, and you'll know him from like Witchblade sculpting and like Fathom and yes. like really like some high end sculpting of like really cool looking female characters and stuff. I don't know why he's decided to do. 
a little tiny chihuahua vinyl? They have chihuahuas. Oh, is that? It's like him and, and his wife or whatever. Okay. They have chihuahuas and they base them on their dogs. So the That's ones that they had that they wouldn't let me buy <laughs> that were all painted or whatever yeah. were painted to kind of represent their dogs oh, in nice. the case. Okay. That's I, awesome. So this is probably like his it, like side project that he's like. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's like his cool. first step into trying to get Fun. into the designer vinyl scene because he's, I mean, he's from the action figure side of things, so like people will know who Claiborne Moore is, but like well, they might not fan. know. I like that you say that like you don't know why he would want to make some little thing, but like. Well, I mean, no, I, it's just you know we spend all day prototyping some action figure for something, and then we're like, but we want to make this soft little right. penguin I understand figure. Why. This it's is just, fun for us. Right, I get it. It's, it's a fun funny hobby that you side made a comment. I didn't mean it like that. Okay. He's a cool dude, is what we're saying. Yes. Yeah, and he makes a chihuahua toy, you. and that makes me super happy. So I may <laughs> do the, I'm, I'm not may. I'm going to do the Mondochi catalog. Right. Done. Because of one. Of one. Because it's easy. <laughs> but that's going to lead you to the Claiborne Moore catalog, which you're going to have to. No, I don't have time for that. You someone else has to step up for the Claiborne have, Moore part of I, it. I yeah. <laughs> you know, we just uh, I think we're releasing like Ashley Wood catalog soon. Oh my god, just wow. super cool. We've been having somebody be curating that. Catalog. I think we have like two. Ashley Moore sub catalogs that are going up like really, really soon. Oh, that's, that's huge. Awesome. Yeah. That's a lot that's of a stuff. A lot of work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like in a big way. Luckily, there's people out there who are very well qualified. To yeah. That. <laughs> but this is the thing. This is why curators are super important for the site and incredible. Like some of the people, they take on what I would be like, there's no way. There's like too much. And like a week later, they're like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and they're perfect and they don't get any flags on their catalog and like everything amazing like awesome collectors who just get involved with the site but you don't have to be that guy you can be anybody you just go I like Jem Jem's pretty cool I know a lot about Jem and then you can have the Jem catalog now's a good time to like Jem because there's so much Jem stuff coming out yeah. or a bad time because then you got a lot more work in front of you well <laughs> well if you're a curator Otherwise. So now, if there's a if someone else is curating catalog, like say someone is curating the October Toys stuff, but we want to update the pictures with new pictures, do, can we do that as the people at October Toys? Yes. So <laughs> obviously, you know, like any indie studio people, like we want to be involved with them because you guys are gonna have like the best photos. You and would we, think, and we would want we <laughs> want to have those like info parts of the site, like not the sale parts, but the info parts of the site, to be as pristine and and accurate as possible. Mm -hmm. So obviously, if you run the company, and you see something's <laughs> like not right, then you can email everyone at shelflifex.com, and uh, and we'll fix it. You know, that's okay. fine. Okay. We'll be like, hey, our curator. You know, we'll let them know or her know, whatever. But you can also apply to be curator if you're on stuff. Right? You totally can. <laughs> if you what? have the time, you totally can. I only mention ours just because I know that we recently, and by we I mean Aileen, recently did a <laughs> uh, checklist for our OMFG. Ah, and yes. has like all the colors. And then on the shelf life, it's all random pictures from like totally. on the forum and stuff. So this way they could all look even and nice. And yes. If you like as a brand, you know, anybody wants to say, here's the stuff, here's our logo and like a, in like a, Illustrator file, file or right. whatever, like that's awesome. That's perfect for us. Users can upload their own photos as well. So okay. part of the curation process is that they have to upload uh, photos originally, initially, <laughs> um, and then if you're a user and you're like, I also love, like Green Lantern or whatever, and I have all these photos, you can up, you can submit your own photos, and they'll get added to the sort of like carousel of of like user photos. But the curator will then choose, hopefully, the best ones the main photo. to represent like the main, you know, for oh, say perfect. ten photos. And then like so, literally, if everybody loves Green Lantern, Green Lantern, there could be like two hundred photos of like one figure that you could like click endlessly. But then, like I said, That's because because we catalog the parts, we want people to take photos of like all the little guns and stuff as well. So mm -hmm. we have the most complete catalog, like database of like every collectible. You guys have taken on a crazy task, and I love it. <sighs> yeah, it's insane, <laughs> but it's really fun to like be a collector and be passionate about that stuff, and then find a way to interact with other people that's not just like arguing on a message board. <laughs> right. you know what I yes, mean? anything that prevents arguing, I'm all for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's fun. It is fun. It's like you guys cool... are going to be the reference. Well, that's what we hope. You know, we really hope that and, you know, and by getting other people to do a lot of the working of them to participate, like you said, not making it a closed system and really opening it up to the community. It's not just us. Like, right. we'll write the software as uh, as best to our ability. And we'll add new features as we can and have the time to um, and improve things and tweak things. So please give us feedback. If there's something you don't like, doesn't make sense, please let us know. 
Um, Email everyone at shelflifex.com. Yes, it goes to everyone <laughs> at, at shelflifex.com. Yeah. So, so. Wait, what happens when there's, like, because this is one of the things I have, uh, problems I have with some of the other strictly designer vinyl sites. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you, like, what would be the stance on if somebody is creates a custom of a figure? Like, I know Transformer guys do custom Transformers, too. Does that stuff get added to the site? Like, if so, like, because then it's like, I made a custom, and there's only one, and it's, here it is. It's... So we're going to have a custom section, eventually. Okay. Uh, and it will be sort of its own section mm. of catalogs. Okay. It'll be all customs. And we do, we, uh, we're running custom contests as well. We ran one uh, where we come up with like a guy and his backstory and then people make their customs mm -hmm. or whatever and submit these brand new characters and then we pick the one that we, I guess, like the best. I like it. Yeah, and like is most popular maybe? I don't really remember to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I was coding and not paying attention. And then I put what, up the you were working? Come I on. was working and then I just, they were like, here are the winners and I put up the webpage and that kind of was my job. Uh, I can't do everything. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, definitely going to have like cust not only custom contests, but a whole like section dedicated to those customs. So it's production um, and custom, and then customs yeah. will be separate. Customs will be separate. And then I think, I think, hopefully they don't get mad at me if I say this and it's wrong. I think we're going to start getting, hopefully, artists to do customs to do like special sales. Oh, that'd be cool. Like in the long run. So hopefully we can build a relationship with people and do like a, like a one-off you know, and I don't know if it'd be like an auction or a just regular sale or contest, but we'll have like super ultra custom exclusives on the site, which would be pretty rad. And I'm guessing uh, if something like that were to happen, they could probably check into the new vlog that's yeah. happening over at Shelf Life. I hope you like my face because <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all over the place now because I'm the girl on the team, so I get to be on the internet. Uh... <laughs> I, yeah, so, so uh, you know, blogging is played out. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> typing. We type a lot. Words. So. Nobody has time to read. People, it's all Instagram now. Pictures, right? Mm. Pictures. It's Instagram and Pinterest. That's what people do. Right. So instead of typing things, mm -hmm. I'll just say it to a screen. <laughs> and then after like a minute, you could be like, this is dumb. And, or you can mute <laughs> no. it. You can mute it or whatever. and be <laughs> yeah. like, I like her hair. <laughs> whatever. Uh... But yeah, so I, you know, I'm gonna start recording little, little short, sort of like updates, what's going on on the site, uh, like we're kind of doing now. I'm sort of giving away all my material on this interview. <laughs> oh but, no! Uh, <laughs> uh, I yeah, bet it will be concise and like more edited. feature driven. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll do like little updates about what's going on on the site, contests, mm -hmm. so that we might be having if we're having them at the time. Um, how to do stuff on the site mm. uh, That's important. because we do have a, a fact, but it's like really long mm -hmm. and. It's not very visual because we just haven't had time to kind of make videos and things to instruct people. And there's just so many features to the site mm -hmm. that we really make sure that people are using them. Um, so, yeah, it'll have, like, kind of how-tos and, like, what That's stuff's awesome. about. And uh, if we go to events, we'll probably do, like, event stuff and, like, maybe interview some people That'd be occasionally. Awesome. Interview a curator or maybe have, like, a featured yeah. section or something. I don't know. You know, just kind of keep it, Content. like, yeah, keep it interesting and hopefully... Um, show that we're like we're not full of shit and like we do actually like this stuff and we're not just like there's real people editors. behind the site not just yeah random business yeah there's entity not like, yeah that it's like not a thing <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna start doing that so so this is the face right here. <laughs> get this used is, to it this is officially the face of shelf life if you don't like how i sound or whatever it's because i'm from canada <laughs> I don't think I would have. I don't hear that the Canada. Didn't know that. You've no, done well to change it. I went to theater school and they beat it out of me. <laughs> you know, they beat the eh? Canada out of you. <laughs> Let's play some hockey, eh? Okay. What's it all about? All about. You should, you should hear our business meetings because I don't sound Canadian anymore. But the other boys, to me, do sound Canadian. <laughs> so they're like, we're gonna add this feature, and I'm like, oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> He kind of went through that with, because uh, he used to have a very strong New York accent. He's from New York. Hey! George is from New York. And uh, going I don't to the think mall, I ever had an accent. having coffee, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. And like, the more Why tired he gets. Why call your mother anymore? <laughs> <laughs> like, You're but, so like, skinny! It very rarely comes out now, but I asked him about it and he said people used to make fun of him for it, so he got rid of it in college. Not, like, it wasn't like, they were making fun of me. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> It sounded like that was it's, the story that It's the same thing that you do all the time when I say a word and you repeat Mario? it like six times. Because it's Mario. <laughs> I, do that, I do that to my husband, though. Because he's from North Carolina, and he doesn't have a southern accent. Like, really doesn't. He worked very hard. 
same way right. to like not have one. Uh, but he'll occasionally say a word, and I'll just do that. Yeah, thing it just like slips out. Or I just say it back to him. He'll be like, "So can you pass me that pin?" I was like, "Pen." He'll be like, "Yeah, the pin." I was like, "Pen." <laughs> and I'll just do it. And he's like, "I hate you so much right now." <laughs> I'm just improving your diction. Does he say horror? <laughs> Like a horror movie? No, he doesn't sound. No, oh no, he speaks like horror. a horror person. All right, let's get into reviews. Okay, okay. I think we have enough about. No, no, Shelf Life is awesome. Bucks. Go to ShelfLifeX.com. Blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. <laughs> yeah, okay. blind boxes. I love blind boxes. Blind box stuff. Dude box blind box. You could probably go find it on Shelf Life. Dude box section. Somebody should be curating that. If you're not, apply. Anybody can. <laughs> Everyone at ShelfLifeX.com. Hey, Mr. Dude box should do it. Mr. Dudebox? Hello, hello Dudebox. Mark, Mark G. Mark G. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mark Dudebox. All right, so let's get in this. I have no look idea what these look like. Look at this adorable little box. Yeah, we know I nothing don't, about this. I don't these. know what a dude box is. Either do I, we. But I so. love blind items. Oh, these are all different shapes. Ah, it has a cute little kind so, of chihuahua looking dude. <laughs> are you looking at this guy? Yeah. I hope <laughs> so I get him. So this is the one that people can win, but it's the big version. This black one with the... Oh, with a tattoo. Yeah, guy. he's got like a money sign for our heart. And oh, that, that's skeleton. Mark G, and he's like, Ooh, I want this, this one. That's actually Mark G? That's Mark G. <laughs> that's what he looks, what like. He looks like. No, Not what his last name right? is hard to pronounce. <laughs> you can't I see totally... what we're looking at. It's this one like... kind of looks, like looks like a Scott. can. I was going to say, that looks like Scott. The one in the diaper? He looks like a weird little nose a lot Scott. I want this one. Is this Scribe, maybe? It looks like a Scribe kind of thing. If it's not, it's changed the artist listed underneath. Well, let's open oh, it and find out. That's too. the one I want. You want one of the Chihuahua ones? I want the Scott one. Okay, even though it's and not you're a Chihuahua. Them. London. Yes, these are uh, from British. England. Very British. Across the pond. Across the pond. Okay, wait. There's a little booklet. So let's see if it has artist names. It's hard to open. It okay. does. Are they all different artists? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, oh Gra Graphart Who is the one, one I thought was Scribe. Acrap? <laughs> Ac I don't know. It's hard to read it. Acrap. Ooh, it's there's not... an attaboy in there. Oh, that's attaboy. Look at it, the foil's green. Yes. I've never seen colored foil on this one. The little, the little, like, symbol, it's very, like, uh, TIE Fighter-ish to me. Ah, it <laughs> totally is. <laughs> Let's find it out. Does it have a ripple? Yeah, it does. Good catch on that. Oh, I didn't get the one I wanted. Oh, well, sweet, I got the attaboy. That's awesome. That's the whole awesome. pig. Uh, I don't know. Do, do you have scissors? What's the deal with scissors. it? Scissors. There's a, there's a rip hole. Scissors are right there. There's a rip hole. Oh, there it is. I'm good at this. <laughs> Just keep looking. You'll find the wah, hole. Wah. Oh, I got oh, this funny, cute. like, oh, he has carrots on his back. Oh, that's it's like carrots He's back like in a fight tattoo. club. I know. We can't talk about it. And he has a dude tattoo. Why does it say dude? Dude box. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm on it. I think that guy is a cute shape. Grap heart. Interesting. Grap. Grab? Grape. Grab? Grab part. Grape. Grab part. Want to grape you in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that skit is still funny to me. That's still funny. Go look it up on YouTube. I like his funny teeth. I, I got a ninja dude, dude who doesn't look like a He looks so sad. He's got some stuff on him. That's okay. Which one he is, is that He's like a sad ninja. Dust? Is that dubbed? Dust? What Dust. is that? Dust? Oh, it says on the back in regular text. Oh, hey, there you go. Dust. DirtyDust.com. Yeah, Look at you. Grap, grapheart.com. If there's anything I can do, it's find a URL. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Who'd you get it? Oh, you got the attaboy? I got the attaboy, which oh, is pretty cool. Yeah. Mine has a sword with it, so that's fun. It's weird. It doesn't. I wouldn't have known this was attaboy by just looking at it. It's very different than his other stuff. Yeah. Now, when you put his hands up, so can what? you put his hands up? Oh, they don't cross. They what, the, oh, that's cute, though. He's, he's like winning. Yeah, he's like, ah, Adrian. <laughs> I like the grab part one the best out of the ones we got. Strapped gold around that waist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have come with a, a heavyweight belt. Or right? Like, you could use a little piece of this. <laughs> Look at oh. you customizing your toys already. Done. Right? Custom contest. Custom. Entry done. Done. Um, Mine's kind of plain, but that's cool. That's my least favorite he's of the sad shapes. sad looking. It's his, like a sad ninja. His legs are not articulated, just his arms and his... I don't know, he's okay. He doesn't really he's do anything over. for me. Yeah, so that's a bonus. Yeah. And they do have a little card, like Rona said. They have uh, their information in the back. I like yours. Yours is the best. You've I got know, the best really one. really cute. Yeah, you got... All right. So Dudebox. You can go to dudebox.com and uh, check out all their stuff. And we have another set of blind box to open later with Yeah, them. that'll be another. I think they're different than this, too. Oh, cool. Uh, shall we on to reviews? We shall on to.
We have some fun stuff. What's up first? Horus. Uh, which is just a great name, I think. This is Horus? That's Horus. Let's give him a He's free a zom. the Zom. <laughs> so we've got some crazy plush. We met the guy here. that makes this at um, WonderCon, or I did. You yes, there. I was playing with Lego. Yes. Oh, oh, he's soft. I thought he was going to be all itchy. Oh, he is he's soft. Really soft. He's like dumb and soft. <laughs> he's dumb. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a plush zombie. Uh, these His guys... shirt comes off. It does? His pants come off. <gasps> His little zombie butt. You can redress him. Yeah. You want it. Does it come all the way off? Or is it sewn on at all? It's sewn on a oh, little bit. Oh, uh, okay. But you could play with it a little bit, you know? <laughs> Move it around. Bedazzle it, maybe. <laughs> Bedazzle. <laughs> Bedazzle yourself. Pull his pants back up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> He's I not a plumber zombie. They're no, this, no, please. You don't, you don't know? Yeah, it's true. I don't know. I don't know what he is. Um, so they have a really cool thing on their site where you, you buy your horse and you go to their site and he's got a, a tag and a number and you put in the number and there's an outbreak map where they track where all the zom zombies are that oh, somebody took home cool. and that's where the outbreaks are happening. Oh, we got to do that. That's really smart. Kind of cute, right? That is really smart. So it's a, it's an interactive plush. How often do you see that? We got to do that. We got to go and show it. No. <laughs> no, just web interactive. But he's also kind of a fun size. He like, is. he's bigger than most of... You can use him as a little pillow, like, on an airplane. Yeah, he looks or... like he'd be a good pillow. Yeah, because you won't look weird at all carrying this on the airplane. I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> what's the dude that made it? Do we know his name? I can't remember it right now. Um, the company's called Zoms. But the dude carried it around like that the whole time, so... Did he really? I can't remember his name. This also started on Kickstarter. Oh, did it? Yeah. Really? That's rad. Did not know um, that. He got the... I think, I think he got the initial funding to do this on Kickstarter. That's funny. To bring it from this handmade. To so, yeah, I was gonna say this looks very handmade, and then yes. into a produced figure. It's, Han nice, it still says handmade, handmade well, I mean, in China. Technically, everything is handmade. Somebody's hands had to make it. No, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So please report this outbreak on the Zom outbreak map, zoms.com. Well, we will do that. That's super cool. We'll yeah, I like I this. I like that. All That's right. Fun. All right, more things. Give me some plastic. Actually, it's vinyl, which is we got two plastic. this time. Uh, this is the Batman robot by Funko. Which Batman are you more are you more into? Old school blue. I feel like I Here. hate Batman. I don't know, man. I, are you a Batman fan at all? I am a Batman fan. I was wearing a Batman shirt earlier today. Nice. <laughs> that I bought at Target from the boys section. Oh, I love the boys section at Target. They have the best shirt. They really do. And they're soft. No. Oh, they're, why the problem is to get them to fit properly on a woman's body. They tend to be like sort of 90s short in the torso. <laughs> and it's like not the greatest look, so you can have to wear it in like a weird configuration. Can I open this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. please. So this is Funko, so you know that when you, the closer you get, the likely it is that it won't look as good. They look great on a shelf far away. I actually don't think these are bad. Uh, this is an 11 inch action figure. I mean, well, I guess. <laughs> from the Vinyl Invader series in the regular blue and gray. Uh, you may remember there was a kiss version of these. They did like, a big kiss version uh, with like giant kiss boots yeah, and like, a big robot. Feet. Yeah, it was cute. And uh, so obviously there's the two versions here. This is the regular, the gray and the blue is the regular one. And that black one was the Comic-Con exclusive over at Toy Tokyo, limited to 500 pieces. And now it's out of the box! <laughs> now it's not worth anything. Um, 36 <laughs> bucks. So... It's weird, like the price to me is just over, like if it was like 25, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, done. But I'm like, 36. You're right, up close, it's sort of like, it's like cool, but also it's sort of like... A mess? Yeah, like you guys would probably think this looks awesome right now, from where you are. Like, done, awesome. And but then, it's very, like, very plasticky looking. Which kind of goes along with the, like, Shogun. He's a good, like, Batman scowl, though. Just that little line, mm -hmm. like, works... Very good convincing. stylistic choice. Yeah, but his arm neither hand shoots off or anything. Nothing does anything. The legs don't move. The cape doesn't billow <laughs> at all. No billowing he, even. I mean, the thing that's weird is he can turn his head, and like, very rarely can Batman actually turn his head. So it's oh, like, yeah. not even. <laughs> that's that's not point. movie accurate. <laughs> and he's got a bit of a rock 'em sock 'em like, robot sort of. Oh, they could fight, but not very well. No, it's just like. Uh, uh. I think old Batman's went losing. Oh, uh, he, he did. He put his arm down. But, like, look at, you know when you said it got crappier? I was like, no, it doesn't. And then I started looking. Yeah, like, once There's, like, you... chips out of the leg on this one. You can't look There's close to Funko. There's a little bit of gold paint and stuff, like, on a weird spot. But, like, it's kind of, like, as a, just a shelf thing. It's like a like, guy. Yeah, it is. 
I mean, how often do you are you like, I love this figure, yeah, and then you don't... cradle it, and then rarely I have a handful of figures that you really like play with. As right. long as you don't do that, you're all good. If you're a Batman collector and you're just putting it on a shelf, it's like a pretty. It's good. It's, it's like good. a because it's like a good size. I think that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> said a lot. How big are these? Eleven inches. That's what it said. But because it's like kind of chunky, it's like a good size as like a display thing. It's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna fall over really easily. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Actually, kind of does. I don't know if I broke it. <laughs> you didn't break it. Uh, it's probably the angle of the table that it's on. Or it's the shoes, cause. Turn it. Turn it this way. It'll be just fine. <laughs> oh. Well, okay. what if I need to face it that nope. way? No, I can only <laughs> face this way. This one. This one can face that way. <laughs> so. Theoretically, if it doesn't fall over, it's like a good size to go on your shelf and just kind of be like a cool, kind of sculptural looking. To go with your other Batman toys. It's cool. I like this. I'm JJ Bat. I like the Shogun Warrior style of it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rad. I wish the arm, the hand it, fired. You could just tell that there's no, like, well, like shot off. Heart. Yeah, because usually those old robots, yeah. the big ones, like, the arm, like, yeah. that's why it was made like that. So I was like, man. There's no heart behind that it. Would really... The way like Super Seven when they made that Stormtrooper like yeah. big vinyl like the big Shogun Warrior, like you could tell that there's like they loved it. love for the for what it was behind it. Like this is just somebody who's like, hey, let's make it a Shogun Warrior. Like mm -hmm. there's no love behind it from the people involved in it. That's but, all. But it exists if you want it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> only, no, only that way. Only backwards. Sorry, <laughs> you can only see the back of that one. It's the same. But all it's right. What do we? What's the? <laughs> That's the last guy. Okay, one more. We have Leonardo the Octopus. Uh, this is by Deep Creeps. Have you seen Sweet Meats? Yes. Plush. Okay, yes. so this is from uh, Lauren Venel, the creator of Sweet Meats. This okay. is the new project from that company. Uh, this is a huggable, glow-in-the-dark plush, and it comes in reusable packaging. What would you reuse this for? Uh, carrying your plush around. Oh, okay. I don't know. You could take it to the farmer's market and put your berries. Did you say it's glow in the dark? It is. All just, of the... Uh, just its eyeballs? The or? eyeballs and the little tentacle things. Oh, so like oh, yeah, the little is. sucky things on the bottom. And the I think eyeballs. The, yeah, I think this part. Yeah, yeah, that's... And then some parts on the bag, it looks like, as well. In the reusable bag. Leonardo. It's weird. The colors make it look to me like, oh, this is a present I'm bringing to a baby shower. It does, doesn't it? It's but that's kind of cute. I know, it's cute. This would make a great kid present, I think. How much is this one? Thirty-five. This is thirty-five dollars. You can go to deepcreeps.com. Don't give the bag to the baby. It says ages three and up, so I don't think you could fit a three-year-old head in there, could you? Babies will fit in this bag. What yeah. babies are you hanging out with? That's a tiny. Don't put babies in this bag. Not reusable for babies. That's super cool. Stop it! You are not a baby. <laughs> it does not fit on George's head. Yeah, I don't know what you're reusing it for unless you're just carrying your plush around. Eco-friendly materials. Made responsibly from eco-friendly materials. It's pretty rad. It does have some soft, like, blankety, baby blankety kind of stuff. Yeah. Something about it, I just see it, like, sitting in, like, a little kid room. And I think you'd have to take the eyeballs kid. off for a little kid. The kid will do oh, that. Oh, maybe. Wow. <laughs> the kid will do that. Uh, what do you think about glow-in-the-dark plush? I like the idea of glow-in-the-dark plush. I think that's kind of cool. These ears look like lamb ears. It kind of looks like a bit of like an elephant from the front as well, which is oh, a little yeah. bit cute. Now, yeah, if they does. did this in different colors, you could totally Cthulhu this out. <laughs> yeah, I totally could. Like, I, it's a cute plush to me. I have a 30, 30, what, $35? Yeah. Mm, price like is, the price is fine for what it is. I like that it's glow in the dark and it's that they're trying really something solid new. and stuff. Like it, yeah, I like the quality. I like it. Yeah. There's no outbreak map or anything, too. Yeah to do but what are you double checking yeah just checking eight just checking for accuracy are you, are you sure <laughs> it's good yeah do you approve i approve okay it just looked like too many for a minute we don't let george do the accounting over here at toy break or anything like that or say the episode numbers or it's a hat i uh, thought i was gonna have more to say about this but i don't there's not a lot to say it's plush it's a thing just like a guy and he's soft he's very soft and squidgy he's squidgy. another good pillow thing wait let me see the the face bit that was funny when you like i don't know something about that like he kind of looks like zoidberg <laughs> like <laughs> I, don't know. I want him in different colors plush octopus people like it i think people plush like plush. octopus plush to puss you always see this kind of stuff Octoplush. on Etsy. octoplush i like it 
All right, well, that's enough of that. Okay. So that, that was our toys, yay. Uh, we have some events coming up. How about Blow Me? Uh, no, like, I'm not saying anything bad. have a bad. guest? There's an online custom Tendo show <laughs> going on. I didn't know on. it was that kind of show. <laughs> We're trying to up our ratings. It's yeah. on the internet. I guess I should have known better. This is from Urban Vinyl Daily and Squid Kids, Inc. Uh, September 8th to October 8th, urbanvinyldaily.com. Now, that's exclusively online. So, why is there a date then? Like, can't I just always see it? On October 8th, are they going to take it down? And they won't show you the custom I'm guessing anymore? yes, and... We can give our opinion, but I think this might be a good discussion to have in the forum. All right. Octobertoys.com. Talk about or blowing me. Com. I mean, blow go, me. Go to the forum. What do you think about online custom shows? I don't understand that at all. Because isn't what, everything shown online? What What happens? They put it up a gallery up for like two days, and their servers get overloaded, and so it keeps yeah. going down, and then they take it down? Potentially. I don't know. We'll talk about it on the forum, I guess. I mean, we can have a discussion here. No. I just... I just up don't ne- understand. It's not It's not an opinion. I just don't understand. <laughs> um, up next, Kamikaze. Uh, comic, anime, gaming, sci-fi, fantasy, and horror expo at the horror? Los Angeles... Horror expo <laughs> at the Los Angeles Convention Center in Los Angeles, California. September 15th and 16th. KamikazeExpo.com. Nice. Stan Lee's Kamikaze, I think we have to say now. Don't you have to say uh, that? I think we can still just call it Kamikaze. I think he signed think a paper it's... that makes everyone say that. But that, don't we have to pay him 25 cents when we say it? No, we have to Did say it. Did you sign the paper? No, he no, did. we didn't sign it. And now we have to say Stan Lee's Kamikaze. Stan Lee holds power over all of us. <laughs> <laughs> As he should. And of course, don't forget PowerCon. Power he, he Man, Shira, and Thundercats convention at the Torrance Marriott South Bay in, you guessed it, Torrance, California, on September 22nd and 23rd, thepower-con.com. Uh, should be an interesting time, as always. a perfect image to show for that right there. You do. Would you like to show that? Let me it's all the way over there. I can reach it. Yay! Look at that. What's Talking that? about Thundercats and He Man. <laughs> A little mix. Can right. say what this is? Uh, that was a piece for Cooper's show that was at Monkey King before this aired. Who did that? Uh, I did. Yesterday. You're so good at giving information. That's all. There's not a lot of information <laughs> to know. <laughs> Alright, so since there's not a lot of information to know, that's it. We're wrapping it up. That was episode 229. Don't forget, you can save money with Toy Break online at many different retailers. You can go to toybreak.com to get information on all those coupons and details. Of course, you can download the show, watch past shows, uh, talk about things in the forum. You can get show notes to everything we talked about, like shelflifex.com. You can <laughs> support us by using the Amazon link on the left-hand side of toybreak.com. Just click through on toybreak.com and make your purchases as normal and that hugely helps out the show and thank you everybody who's been doing it uh, you can also call and leave us a voicemail at 818 am i good you can email us info at toybreak.com you can keep up with us on facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak you can watch our full episodes and toy briefs at youtube.com slash toybreak you can follow us on twitter and instagram and all those places i'm at Eileen gaspar at george gaspar oh i do have twitter <laughs> it's but it's not my name it's at bathory which is B-A-T-H-O-R-Y. She'll put it in the notes, I'm sure, I will. somewhere here. Yeah. That's awesome. That's me. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I like the name. Thanks. Good choice, by the way. Yeah. What um, where are the <laughs> where will the vlogs be? Is it just going to be at shelflifex.com? Uh, uh, they'll be at blog.shelflifex.com. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, subdomain. Probably a link somewhere to get to that. In theory, there will be a link. There could potentially Maybe be a, a slide link. or something on the homepage. <laughs> Whenever that goes up, I, I started doing them today. Right. So, we'll see. So, keep an eye out. So, obviously the site is growing. So, keep an eye on yeah, that. Like, things oh, are constantly geez. being added and new features and all sorts of yeah. excitement. So, yeah. Shelf Life X, do you want? Do you have anything else that you want to plug or talk about? Or I, how was Toy Break? You survived? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> like, super fun. And, like, you guys, I, have you ever done, like, a video tour of the studio? Because, mm-hmm. no. man, there's a lot of toys here. <laughs> like... Don't listen. No, no, there's it's a lot of toys, uh, but it's like super cool. No, it was fun. Thanks for having well, me. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, thank you. Know. Since you are our guest, can we get you to uh, give us a? And now here's your toy break. And now here's your toy break.